Hey Church, I hope you guys are doing well. My name is Herbert Canningoni. I am one of the team members here at Central Campus at Audacious Church um, and I work as part of the hosting team, um, just heading things up there. Um, here just to share with you just a few bits um, in this devotional. Um, so yeah, just going to dive straight in. So we're looking at Psalm 27, um, verses 13 to 14. Um, it might sound familiar um, just with, if you've been to church in the last few weeks. Um, last few weeks or months as we've gone over these at some point. Um, so I'm just going to read it out to you, um, the verse to you. So it's um, David speaking. I would have lost heart unless I believed that I would see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. It sounds like a song that we probably more all have heard of at some point, um, but it's very reminiscent of a um of a verse that pastor paul um, was, speak, was speaking on um recently in isaiah 40 verse 31 um where it also speaks on waiting on the lord and really when i was preparing for this devotional i was looking at isaiah 40 verse 31 um, and I, as I was reading I was just reflecting obviously on waiting on the lord in term in 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 the, in the actual um, perspective that Pastor Paul was preaching on, where we are waiting on the Lord, doing in in, in the terms of a waiter um, or a server, depending on how you might um, how you might say that. So, for for me, as I was reading, as I was reading Isaiah forty verse thirty one, um, it really I, I decided to have a quick look in regards to waiting on the Lord, simply because of the season that I was in. Um, as you know, we we were recently in our season of miracles, um, and even though the season of miracles that, that we were speaking of might have ended, God's season of miracles never really end. They, they're always ongoing. Every day is a season of miracles with um, with God. And really, I, that's when I came across um, Psalm 27, verse 13 to 14. And just as I, as I, read, as I read it out loud in, in, in my own mind, um, it's, it, it really just brought back um, quite a lot of what, what, what I've been going through this season where it's waiting on the Lord and really um, the, the, the key part of the verse um, would be be of, good, be of good courage and he shall strengthen your heart. Um, and to, to give a bit of context to that, um, so I've recently, recently as, as recently as the start of the year, um, been applying for jobs here and there. So um for those that don't know me, so I work for a um, I work for housing associations. So I'm in the social housing world, um, doing done lots of different things. Great place to work, great great sort of industry to work in, and very rewarding considering what what you do. Um, but I I I needed and wanted a change, um, simply because the to, for for me to be able to progress career wise, and been I'd been applying for jobs getting rejected, getting told numerous reasons why, you know, I wouldn't wouldn't be able to, to get the jobs that I was applying for. Um, and for anyone who's ever applied for jobs in, in that sense, there is, how do I say, um, there's the, the, it's, it becomes tedious, it becomes difficult at some point where there's just, con where, when you're constantly getting pushed back. Um, so for, for me personally, it was it was become it, it became heavy, um, and it was something that obviously um, as I was going through, with my, we, we were we were in prayer with my wife, um, really looking into really looking to seek God in that, so that he we, he could take us where we need to go, um, and as 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 the months came, the months moved on. Um, we continued to pray and continued to seek God's God's word and God's face in in in, in my job search. Um, there were quite a few other things going on in terms of um, I had a course that I was doing at the same time, um, so studying for that, which was not easy or simple in any way, shape, or form, um, and just numerous numerous things um, that when I look, even as I look back now, God has come through in so many different ways. Um, but I won't, I won't, I won't drag that on because otherwise we'll be here for ages and you'll be sat here listening to me going on and on and on. Um, but yeah, so during that time it was, 
again, it was difficult, and it was difficult because you're obviously a seek and a move. Um, but again, we continue to pray, continue to seek God's word, um, and also outside of our bubble um, in the home, um, continue to go to church, continue to serve in church. Um, as I mentioned before, so I serve um, on the hosting team, heading things up there. So it's just continuously bringing my best before God, um, knowing that in doing so, I am um, I am stepping out of my situation, out of my out of up here, and um, I think there was recent recent preach as well um, with Pastor Self, which you mentioned how when when we're in here, things God starts to look God starts to look smaller than the actual than the problems that we might face simply because we are so close to the problem. Um, but when when that when there's that opportunity to take that step back to take that step out and in in serving your you not you're not you're not really serving yourself you're serving for the great for the greatness of God for the for the glory of God for the kingdom of God and in doing so you're also serving the people around you the people who come into church it it it's bigger and you're fur- you're further away from your problems in in mind even though in that they might still be there, they will always still be there. But you being taking a step back grants us a greater perspective and we're able to see things as they are, to see things as as small as they are compared to the greatness and the power and the glory and the majesty of the God that we serve. Um and I feel like that for me that that helped me being able to continuously come in, serve diligently, and know that I have to trust God in everything that I do. I have to put my trust in Him, otherwise, otherwise we're lost. Um, we, we, you know, we, if we trust in God, God will always see us through, and in, that's that's a testimony for all of my Christian walk in life. Um, ever since I start, ever since I became a Christian, where God has continuously proven Himself faithful in every single thing, even in moments where, in, in even in my mind, where things are just I'm not. I am not fully there, but God is always fully there for you. Um, and I just really wanted to encourage you, church, um, just seek God in everything. Trust God in everything. Serve God in everything. And he will, he, he, he's always going to prove faithful to you no matter what. Um, I, can, I can tell you as, as I'm sitting here now, um, I, did get, I did get a job, a better job than what I had. A job in a completely different company, doing different things, learning different things that actually helps with my career progression. That's going to be so good because there is there is more to be learned, and and with it, with, with doing that, going moving forward to where God needs us to be. Um, I can tell you that I passed that um, the exam. I passed the exam that I was studying for, and again, it's. As difficult as it was in that moment, whilst also seeking new employment, God, God was there. He was keeping me calm, continuing to keep me taking that next step forward in everything that we do. Um, and I can, I think, I just, just, just as a last sort of note, um, really, guys, I, I will, I'll always say this to, to everyone: if, if, if you, if you're on my team and you're watching this. Tell anyone who who will ask you, um, if I see you, and I think you, you know, and you look like you've not got anything better to do, I will ask you to join the team simply because it, it's a, it's it's just a great thing to do. You you you'll never you'll never miss out on anything being in the team. So I'll always encourage you guys join a team. There is so much there is so much growth to be found so much healing to be found um and i can definitely say for me during this particular process that is something that helped me remain steady remain remain remaining remain in god through all through all of it um so yeah no just as i bring this to a close just wanted to really say thank you so much for for watching thank you so much for listening and um, i hope you have an amazing amazing day Thank you. Bye.